wherever you are, we welcome you to the president's uh, blog that we're doing here from Oakwood University. And it's one way of actually, for me, introducing you to many of the people who work so hard to make Oakwood a success. And this morning, we have Ms. Trina Young, who will be with us. And uh, we call her Tamara, we call her Trina. Uh, she's the Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Services and Retention over in Cunningham Hall. Uh, Trina, how many years have you been with us now? Is it two years? Yes, two years now. Two years, two years. Two years and one month. Two years and one month. <laughs> and she comes to us, of course, from the Great Southeastern Conference there in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, she worked in K through 12 and is doing a great job for us. Mm -hmm. So Trina, tell us a little bit about your background, a little bit about your journey, and then let's talk about the important role that, that you played for the university. Okay. Well, I'm a product of Adventist education from birth to Oakwood University. Um, I'm a proud graduate of Oakwood. I, as you mentioned, um, was doing K-12 for quite some time. I left Southeastern uh, Conference as the Associate Superintendent of Education um, and very excited to come to Oakwood University. I, you know, had been looking at the job postings and I, and I saw one and I said, okay, it was New Year's Eve and I said, I'm just going to go ahead and apply for this and see what happens. Um, and it's just been a great experience. I'm so thankful that I can continue my work um, in the Evanist pipeline. And it's exciting to see even students that I taught years and years ago um, now becoming students at Oakwood. So, Well, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. And, and it's a blessing whenever we can come back and serve our alma mater, as, as mm -hmm. I can testify and as you have testified. So yeah. the role that you play, tell us uh, so that our... our, our no, what is it that you do exactly for the university? So as the Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Services, it's actually an exciting position because this is the, you know, moment where students make a decision about where they're going to go and how they're going to be able to afford it. Um, you know, what is it going to look like? Who am I going to meet? You know, and so I'm a part of that whole process. So when a student is making a decision about where to go, uh, they have to go through our recruitment process. They usually meet our enrollment specialists. You know, they have to go through admissions. So I oversee recruitment admissions. And then, you know, they have the question of affordability. Mm. Uh, so we walk them through the financial aid process. And then once they've realized, oh, this is the school for me, this is a good fit, you know, I can afford this place. Then we start the process of registering them for classes. And so that's the registrar's office. So basically, I oversee those four areas, recruitment, admissions, financial aid, and the registrar. Yes, yes. And of course, the work that you do is so important because you're among those first touchers, actually, right? Mm -hmm. As the student formally and officially begins their journey at Oakwood, you're with that group of people who yeah. catch them almost as babies right out of the cradle, mm -hmm. whether it's from our academies or from public schools, because we have a right. lot of students. The majority of our students come from public schools, don't they? Yes. And so, so, so catching them and introducing them to the Oakwood experience is what right. you do. Can you think of any time in your life and in your work at Oakwood where you were just overcome with the joy of, of that process of birthing a new life into Oakwood University? Well, you know, one of the things I... If I if someone asked me if I missed anything uh, from the K twelve side, it was it's those you know moments when a student is in the middle of making a decision, you know, or they're having to go through some life changing type of experience, and you know, being a part of that process and being able to support a student. So, I would say I love uh, when I get to interact with students. Usually. Uh, in my role, I deal with the most difficult uh, cases or the most challenging situations, students that um, have had those life-changing experiences and they're trying to make a difference in their own life and they want to, you know, they want to come to Oakwood, but they're not sure how it's going to happen. Um, and so those are the most uh, touching experiences when they feel like, man, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, and we find a way. Um, and it takes a lot of collaborative effort. Sometimes we even call you Dr. Collar and say, hey, you know, we have this amazing kid, you know, uh, what can we do? And so um, I would say when I think about the, 
the best is um, it's the days when uh, we really see that, you know, hey, we've made a difference. Um, sometimes tears are exchanged, um, but mostly it's laughs and uh, just, you know, big smiles uh, making a difference in students' lives uh, who are transitioning. Oh, that's, that's, that's exciting to hear. And uh, you graduated from Oakwood, did you not? You... Yes, I did. Yes, okay. Yeah. So may I ask, what year did you graduate from Oakwood? Ooh, Dr. Pollard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you graduated. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> you graduated a while ago, in the 90s, maybe. So you no, graduated. I graduated in 98. I'm a proud 98 graduate. Okay, a graduate from 1998. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. You're getting to be among the old people now. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, getting there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the question that alums always want to know. So okay. from the days you were a student to now your new role, um, mm -hmm. these years later, um, how have students changed? Oh, wow. Um, well, I'm not just um, on staff, but I also have a daughter here. Yes. So, so you're a parent as well. You're a parent. right. So I'm a parent of, a, of, a, of an active student. Yes. Yes. Um, the students have changed. Well, definitely, when you look across the campus, you see the style has changed. Um, you see um, students who really, I mean, in my opinion, when I came, your parent decided where you were going to go to school. Mm -hmm. So it was probably much easier for Oakwood to kind of, you know, boost enrollment just because parents had already really made a decision. But when I look across the campus, these students really are the ones that decided, you know, um, that this is the place where they want to be. And you can see it in um, just their level of uh, engagement. When you look at uh, how students are, you know, getting involved in clubs and they're on social media and, and you know, even when, whether they're happy or they don't like something, you know, they're speaking out, they're, they're very vocal. Um, and, you know, they have this sort of entrepreneurial spirit. So, you know, you have kids selling t-shirts and selling little, uh, little just things that they know someone needs. You know, when I was here, we were probably selling snacks and <laughs> things like that, but they, they, I mean, they show up with equipment, you know, they have 3d printers, you know, they're really, uh, innovative. Um, and so I just think that this is such a unique group that we have coming in, you know, they have their aspirations of what they want to do. And then they have these side hustles that sort of, they found a way to integrate it into their, their path here at Oakwood. Yeah. I, I, I've observed the same thing and I want to underscore what you've said. Students are very different in their drive, their perspective on higher education. As you mm -hmm. said, many of them bring an entrepreneurial spirit to the campus. Right. And 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 a kind of self direction that has been cultivated for many years, which we're told are characteristics of Gen Zs and right. uh, of of late end millennials and others. Um, right. If you were going to give a message to parents, this will be my last question to you. If you had a message for parents, what would that message be about Oakwood University, about the decisions that young people are working through? What would you say? I would say. Um, Number one, as a parent of a student here, I have personally seen, you know, how much people care for uh, my child. Um, she has been able to uh, really blossom and develop not just, you know, her career goals, but her God-given gifts, you know. And so this is really a place of transforming um, a student's life to really become who they are going to be as a whole. And so I think, um, you know, as any parent, you know, it takes a tribe. And I really believe um, wholeheartedly that I dropped my daughter off to my tribe. Um, and it's exciting to now be a part of the whole process. Um, when I say tribe, I mean, you know, people check in on her. They pray with her. Um, you feel, you know, they see a talent and they say, hey, you know, what can I do? How, how can I go the extra mile to help you develop this or that or whatever it is that, you know, they, they may see something in her. And so I would say to parents, you know, this is a place where your child will be loved, um, that where they will truly develop um, not just uh, what they need for this world, but, you know, for the long term for heaven. And I think ultimately that's my goal for her to, of course, be successful um, but be ready 
when God comes back. Amen. Amen. And with that, uh, we thank you so much, uh, Trina, for what you do for Oakwood University. On behalf of all the people who are watching, the people who love Oakwood, who have invested in it, thank you for the sacrifice that mm -hmm. you're making. And we thank you for the work that you're doing. And we're coming to you from the campus of Oakwood University. We want you to know that here at Oakwood, we care about your students as they come to us. Yes. We will invest in them personally as well as corporately. And generations will attest that there is no experience like the Oakwood experience. So I'm signing off, Les Pollard, president of Oakwood University. Come down and visit us where students for decades have entered to learn and then they depart to serve. May God bless you and thank you, Trina. Thank you.